Governments at all levels have been urged to work vigorously towards achieving gender equality in all sectors of the country. The president and founder of Women in Mining in Nigeria, Women, engineer Janet Adeyemi, who gave the advice, said gender inequality, particularly violence against women and children, remains a source of concern in Nigeria. The women president, who was represented by the group's program coordinator, Denise Dolare, Denise Dolarain spoke in Adoikiti during the research validation and policy dialogue and said gender quality or equality is yet to be fully attained in Nigeria. She however noted that the group is close to getting there. Like I earlier stated, has developed the WIM Rights app. This is a dynamic app that will aid the reporting of real-time sexual and gender-based violence incidences. This is a content validation. We've invited relevant stakeholders. We need their expert opinions. We need their judgments to validate that there is actually an incidence of sexual and gender-based violence. Uh, the key findings from our research is that, yes, Ekiti State has adequate laws that addresses issues of gender-based violence and child labor generally and in, the and in the extractive sector. The laws are there, the institutions are there, but then there are still some gaps. We still see child labor, especially in some communities, in Jero, Ire, uh, and some of these uh, far distant communities where it's not easy for government to reach and monitor effectively. By using equipment, you must know why you are using it and the advantage to you as you're using it. So sensitization and enlightenment, they should, we, the group, uh, this workshop is to enlighten people to wake them up to the fact that they must protect themselves while they are making money that they want to make from mining. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.